So when we're concerned that there's an injury that might involve the flexion of the thumb, we need to examine that. Um, the tendon that does that is a flexor pollicis longus, often known as FPL. Uh, when I'm examining that with a patient, the first thing I do is I ask them to make an O shape like this. So can you copy that for me? And you can see there's a complete um, circle of an O. And that's because they've got flexion with power at the IP joint. If they didn't have flexion there, then instead of a full O, they would have a duck's bill appearance like this. The other way to examine it is to stabilise the proximal phalanx and ask them, can you bend down the tip of your thumb and press against me? So resisted flexion at the IP joint. I tend not to ask them to just bend the thumb because then you've got composite movement in several directions and trying to see whether you've got movement at the IP joint can be quite difficult. So by stabilising the proximal phalanx, we then isolate that movement and you can definitely see whether they're flexing at the IP joint. So in summary, when I'm examining the FPL, I would say to the patient, can you make an O for me? That's good, thank you. And can you flex the tip of your thumb down for me? That's great, thank you.